Why, hello there, YouTube. This is Sue Tycooner Steve coming back for another episode of our Let's Play Challenge Mode Zoo. Uh, first, I want to start off by apologizing for having such a long stretch between this episode and the last one. Uh, it's just kind of holidays. Uh, I had relatives over and I took a little vacation. Kind of threw me off schedule. And in fact, today's episode's not going to be a very long one either. Um, but what we're going to do is. Uh, I'm thinking I want to, uh, I mentioned before what I really like about Challenge Mode Zoos is they give you the opportunity to redo things you've done before, and what I want to do is take our Spoonbill exhibit and transplant it to this area here, um, because I really just don't like the look of our Spoonbill exhibit now, and I think that's a good way to handle the situation, and then we'll knock out that area uh, where the Spoonbills currently are right here, and we'll go ahead and put something in for our guest. Uh, we want to keep the frog exhibit back there very nice because uh, that's one of our big money makers. But the spoonbills, they really aren't bringing in much. Um, I think they're going to fit well in that area over there. Uh, maybe I'll move the tadpole pool over here. You know what? That's not going to work because the tadpoles need very, very deep water. So I'm going to. I'm not going to do that. I'm uh, just going to leave it there. I'll put in something for the guest in this area. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do yet. Um, but rest assured, I will come up with something before the end of the video. And um, so that's, yeah, our big plans today. Before we get uh, started on construction, let's go ahead and take a look at the financials. Uh, you might remember that we had a wee boo-boo back in August here that uh, caused us to adopt some animals we didn't need, so we finished way, way in the red. Uh, happy to report that in September we made about five thousand uh, dollars. After that, it went down again to about four thousand. That's largely because uh, we had a big uh, boost of animal babies that brought up the animal upkeep, and I also hired some staff, so that's why that's down a little bit. You can see already in November uh, we're looking to clock in over six thousand, so uh, definitely no problems with the financials for the zoo. And now that we've checked that, uh, and we've got twenty-four hundred in the bank, so we can afford some construction here. Um, but now that we've checked that, I'm going to go ahead and switch to construction mode. I'm going to make a new uh, habitat for our Rosette Spoonbills, and then make a brand new area over there. It's going to be kind of a quicker video, um, just because, like I say, I'm a little busy right now. But here we go.
Alright everybody, welcome back. Let's take a walk through the area that was previously populated by our spoonbills. Um, and hopefully this will not screw up the flow of traffic to our frog house, but I put in just this little area where our educator could teach. I might actually change that to like a, uh, a place where we can put in one of the stages for the performers if we need to bring up our guest satisfaction. But I like that a lot. Uh, I think it looks pretty good. It's just... Um, I just really hope it doesn't screw up our frogs. Hopefully not. Hopefully we can just leave it looking nice like that. And if we continue down our path here, note to self, I need to move those benches a little bit to make room. Uh, but we continue down our path here to look at our new spoon bell display. Um, we've placed our fountain with some rocks. I'm okay with that. Um, because I think this looked pretty good. And I think I am going to use this uh, lavender kind of throughout the place. Oh, let's see. Gain the rainforest preservation side from most awareness. The world threatened tropical rainforest. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, did, I could do that real quick because I just have to build like six things and my reward is an animal. Not sure I want to take up a single. The problem is they only give you one and not a breeding pair. I'm going to pass right now. You probably noticed I pass in a lot of challenges. Um, that's probably not the best thing to do, because we could be earning money and animals much easier that way, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, like I was saying, I'm probably going to use this lavender and these white picket fences more throughout the zoo. I actually like both of those things a lot. I've never used them in combo before, but I've used them individually. And uh, I like that little waterfall. I, I always like little waterfalls, though. So, yeah, I'm thinking that's a uh, much better display for our majestic spoonbills. And I was able to knock our population of spoon bills back down to four, two males, two females, so hopefully they won't have as much overcast. Um, like I said, it's a bit of a shorter episode, only going to be about 15 minutes, I'm guessing, when I edit it. But um, we got this area done, and now we need to start looking for good little mammals to put in around our spoon bills. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye!